So what is the difference between the user interface between Visor T3 and Visor T4? Here you are in Visor T3. One thing that's unique to both in that it falls in the same position is the main menu bar that runs along the top. In Visor T3 here, we have a four quadrant system basically, and in our upper left quadrant is where we find all of our assets that we can use within Visor T to build our scenes. And we can also find our external assets. So for instance, we have our tab server here and our built-ins tab up here, and they both reveal the assets within the upper left here. Our scene tree window is in the lower left quadrant, and our properties window here is in the upper right window. Our scene editor window or render window is in the lower right here. And the only thing that you can change within the user interface in Visor T3 is really changing the size of the render window here. You also have a couple of views that you can access. So you can change your view here. You can also have your tree view and your stage view here. Now, two other tabs, the server plus the stage and the stage here. If we jump over into Visor T4, here we are in Visor T4 and you can see when we opened up the software, it gave us this default user interface. And it looks a little bit different than Visor T3, but it has the same windows. Down here within our lower left, we have our built-ins, as you can see. Up here, we have our scene tree in the upper left window here. And in the middle here is our render window or scene editor window. We still have our stage access down here. And over here on the right is our properties. Now, at any time within Visor T4, and the big difference between Visor T4 and Visor T3 is that you can take these windows and drag them around the screen and place them wherever you want. And you can see when you take a window that you have little icons here that will actually guide you where you want to place it or where you can place it. So you can just let it go or you can just have it hang out as a self-contained window here and then even close that if you don't need it. Now within Visor T4, you also have default workspaces. So when you open the software, you are presented with the default space. And if you click on the workspaces button in the upper left, you have several options that you can choose. Our first one is the default, which we are on now. You also have a views like you did within Visor T3. You also have a stage view, which reveals the stage much like you did in Visor T3. You also this time have a scripting view here as well. And then there is a default 3x. So if you are coming from Visor T3 and going to Visor T4, you can set the interface up to be pretty much the same. Finally, you can manage your own workspace and create your own. So you can come in here and rearrange any window you need and then save that user interface for future use. At any time, you can also access any available window and just open and close that independently. So if we wanted to access our render graph within Visor T4, we could just click on that window and now it opens that window. And again, you have your windows here that you can close and then go back into your list of available docs to reopen it. So another big change within Visor T4 are the way that things will get textured. And in Visor T4, you now have two ways that you can render. So if we come into our scene settings here, and you can see that we have our version three and version four that we can use. And if we open up a scene that's using the version four here, so now within Visor T4 in the version four rendering, you're using a new type of light and materials. So if we come into one of these materials and come into the settings here, we are presented with a whole new way to texture our scenes.